Hello everyone, this is Malachi with GarageBand Tutorials. This is not how I envision doing this tutorial. I spent, let's say, three hours, two attempts, no, three attempts to make this tutorial possible. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you hear how the mix sounded first. I'm going to do a speed, I guess a time lapse of what I did the third attempt and then I'm going to let you hear how it sounds after the plugins have been put into place. Now if you want to learn how to do all these things um, definitely join my uh, course, become a student and also subscribe to GarageBand Tutorials. Another thing I want to say is uh, I want to thank the subscriber that um, gave me the music to mix. If anyone else has music they want to mix, I'll mix it for free and I will make another attempt, hopefully successfully this time, to put a tutorial out there on YouTube. So, um, without that being said, link the, his link is in the description where you can check out his music on SoundCloud. And um, yeah, we're going to get started. I do apologize. Um, this is crappy, but hopefully uh, everyone can see how I did this. And uh, I will say on a positive note, um, the guy is really good. At, he's really talented when it comes to singing. And it really came out very well on how we mix this. His, this music in GarageBand. I'm trying to think. Of, I, I had an hour worth of dialogue. Oh my god! I'm trying to think. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, also very important when you're using instruments to take advantage of the presets for EQ. It makes a world of difference, and you'll be pretty amazed on how just changing the EQ for certain instruments makes the instrument sound completely different. And also sometimes with like pianos and synthesizers, you may have to use the stereo delay plugin that comes with GarageBand to give it that harmonious effect because sometimes it may not sound like the beat is gelling together. So you have to use the stereo delay, you have to use some panning and get the instruments in the right pan sections. If you have any questions about pan sections, that is in the uh, tutorial or in the, uh, the course when you become a student for a garage band. So I'm going to speed through this. If anyone has any questions, I will answer all questions because this, I know going through speed videos and stuff like that and time lapse videos is kind of frustrating because it's moving so fast, but for whatever reason, there must be some type of invisible force that does not want me to do this video on YouTube. But, hey, I'm still going to do it. So let's get started. the type to apologize I chased after you girl all the time thinking that you would be complacent silly expectations you were chasing I tried to be reasonable but girl I I always fell short with you why try Back to my senses. Said I am back to my senses. Said I get back to my senses. Back to my back to my senses. You used to be my girl, but now I'm unsure. My love was undeniable. I live to see you smile. 
If I get on back to my senses, looking in your eyes, staring at your soul, I can tell you ain't mine. And we just can't come back. Nigga gotta roll you, I'm just stating facts. the type to apologize I chased after you girl all the time thinking that you would be complacent silly expectations you were chasing I tried to be reasonable but girl I I always fell short with you why try Back to my senses, said I am back to my senses, said I get back to my senses, back to my, back to my senses. You used to be my girl, but now I'm unsure, my love was undeniable, I live to see you smile, fuck it I'm back to my senses, looking in your eyes, so I can tell you ain't mine And we just can't come back Nigga gotta roll you, I'm just stating facts We just can't be It ain't no me You feel the same I was undeniable I live to see you smile Fuck it, I'm back to my senses Looking in your eyes, staring at your soul I can tell you ain't mine And we just can't come back Nigga gotta roll you, I'm just stating facts What you heard, shawty we 